working of DS. See the introduction of DS. DS is developed in early 1970s at IBM and submitted to NBS to check the strength or the security of the DS algorithm. DS is one of the landmark in cryptographic algorithms. DS works based on Fistel cipher structure. If you want to know how Fistel cipher structure will be work or we can create Fistel cipher structure, there is one video is available in my channel. You can watch this video. DS is symmetric cipher algorithm and use block cipher technique for encryption and decryption. If you want to know what is block cipher or what is stream cipher, there is one video is available in my channel. You can watch this video to learn block cipher and stream cipher. Now figure shows the process of DS. Now uh, you can see over here. So this is 64-bit uh, plain text is input to the DS and 56-bit key is the input of the DS. So there are two uh, different input. One is key and one is plain text to the DS process and it generates 64-bit cipher text. As per the rules of block cipher, the size of the cipher text and plain text will be same. Now you can see over this is 64-bit plain text and 64-bit cipher text. But here you can see the key size is different. Here plain text and key size is different. So the one question is that how can it works? So we will discuss later on how it uh, works 64 bit and 56 bit key. So uh, this encryption uh, this process uh, encryption process is for block 1 then block 2 and up to block n. Now uh, first of all key discarding process. Uh, before enter the key into the DS process uh, original key size is, is 64 bit. So here key discarding process every 8th bit of the original key is discarded and it generates 56 bit resulting key. Uh, why it generates 56 bit resulting key uh, we will discuss later on. So 64 bit key is converted into 56 bit resulting key. Now in, uh, for example in this table you can see uh, this is 64 bit original key now it converts into 56 bit resulting key. So every 8th bit is discarded from the original key. Now steps of DS. First steps 64 bit plain text block is given to the initial permutation IP function. Then after plain text input is the initial permutation. So it performs initial permutation uh, of the input plain text. So now after performing initial permutation the plain text converted into two different uh, two same size of blocks one is LPT and second one is RPT LPT means left plain text and RPT means right plain text so 64 bit divided into 32 bit LPT and 32 bit RPT so uh, after LPT and RPT uh, division uh, it input of the 16 round of encryption and 56 bit resultant key is also the another input of the 16 rounds of encryption. LPT and RPT rejoin and final permutation FP is performed on the combined block. And finally 64 bit ciphertext block is generated. So this is 6 steps performed to generate ciphertext from the given plain text. Now this is for reference. This is crystal cipher structure. Now you can see this is 16 round of encryption. So as per a uh, crystal cipher structure, this is round one, round two, round up to round three, four, up to 15, up to 16. So there are 16 different rounds will be performed in crystal cipher. And DES also use crystal cipher structure. So this kind of 16 rounds will be performed in DES. Now. Discuss about 16 round of encryption. Uh, before 16 round of encryption, uh, uh, let's see the initial permutation and generate LPT RPT from the plain text uh, of the 64 bit. So initial permutation performed only once in DS process. Uh, before initial permutation, plain text divided into 64 bit block. So 64 bit block given to the IP table or we can say initial permutation table. Now bit sequence have changed as per the IP table. For example, 
first bit take 40th position and 58th bit take first position now you can see this is the 58th bit take first position and first bit will be changed at 40th position or we all know that permutation means transposition change the location of the given bits it is called a permutation now uh, output of the IP is divided into two equal halves as LPT and RPT now you can see over there uh, in this process so IP is divided into two parts LPT and RPT the size of the initial permutation is 64 bit as per the plain text now LPT and RPT divided into same size block so it is 32 bit LPT and 32 bit RPT now uh, next process is 16 round of encryption uh, we have already generated 56 bit key uh, using key discarding process so how it given to the input of the 16 round of encryption and LPT RPT is the input of the 16 round of encryption now 16 rounds of encryption or we can say encryption function of the DES so in 16 out, uh, rounds of encryption first of all we have to uh, key transformation it is 56 bit key so in key transformation process key bit shifted per round so we can say it is shifting of the key bits or we can say it is left shift of the key bits and then compression permutation why compression permutation perform over here we will discuss later on in this video second one expansion permutation of the plain text and XOR so plain text size is 48 bit and cipher text size is 48 bit so in second step this is expansion permutation of the plain text we have plain text it is 32 bit uh, RPT and LPT so it is convert into 48 bit because our key size will be compressed and it generates 48 bit key from the 56 bit key then after s box substitution because uh, after expansion permutation and x or we have to a 48 bit size plain text convert into 32 bit plain text size then after p box or we can say permutation or we can say transposition as per the p box now XOR and swap so this five steps perform in 16 round of encryption now discuss one by one first one is key transformation uh, we have 56 bit key uh, as per the key discarding process now 56 bit key is divided into the two halves so each of 28 bits so 28 plus 28 it is 56 bit key now circular left shift is performed on each half so there are two half 28 28 so it performs circular left shift shifting of the bit position is depending on round so how many bits you have to shift or we can say left shift as per the round so there are 16 round of encryption if there is first second third so as per the round you have to shift the bit position now see the table uh, this is the rounds uh, and this is the key bit shifted for round number 1 2 9 and 16 now you can see over here this is the highlighted over here 1 2 9 and 16 shift is done by one position or we can say one left shift and remaining round 3 4 5 6 7 8 and up to 15 it performs two bit left shift so this is the key bit shifted per round now what is actually round uh, again we will discuss this is round 1 this is round 2 round 15 and 16 so from uh, in round 1 uh, key bit is shifted key bit it uh, shift one left shift one bit position in round 2 it performs again one bit from round 3 4 5 6 up to 8 it performs two bit left shift so this is for reference this figure now for remaining round shift is done by two position or we can say two bit left shift next is compression permutation 56 bit input with bit shifting position now we have to compress the key so it generates 48 bit key so how can we uh, convert 56 bit key uh, into 48 bit key 
now check drop this beads 9 18 22 25 35 38 43 and 54 bits so total 8 bits it's drop or we can say remove from the 56 bit key and it generate 48 bit key uh, this bit is fixed now you cannot find 9 18 22 up to 54 in this table so we have learned key transformation here key transformation is over next is expansion permutation now expansion permutation we have 32 bit rpt or we can say write plain text of uh, initial permutation is expanded to 48 bits so we have to 32 bit convert into 48 bit because our key size is 48 bit and we have to perform x or after x expansion permutation so how can we perform uh, uh, 32 bit uh, convert into 48 bit now expansion permutation steps 32 bit rpt is divided into eight blocks each of four bits so total is 32 bits it generates uh, one block is four, four bits and it generates 8 multiplied by 4 so 32 bits so it generates total 8 blocks now you can see in this figure 32 bits now one block two block up two and so on this is eighth block so one block size is four bits now this uh, 32 convert into 48 so we what we have to do four bits th uh, this four bits block convert into six bit because we have total eight blocks and we have to uh, convert 32 into 48 so four bits block convert into six bits so six multiplied by eight is equal to 48 now check so each four bit block is expanded to six bit and produce 48 bit outputs let's see the figure so uh, first block one two three four bits is put over here as a middle bit and two outer bit is added one uh, and six so how can it added uh, this is the last bit of the last block is added at the first position and the second block first bit is added at the sixth position so uh, one two three four bit it converted into six bit so and so on so we can say uh, there are eight blocks of the six bits so it generates 48 bit rpt now check next is expansion permutation so it performs x or before the permutation so 48 bit rpt and 48 bit key is the input so both is the 48 bit and it generates uh, 48 bit output performing x or now key transformation is done expansion permutation is done and now next is s box substitution why we perform s box substitution because 48 bit rpt is again convert into 32 bit because our lpt size is 32 bit and here rpt size is 48 bit 48 bit rpt is export uh, xord with the 48 bit key and output is given to the s box so this output is inserted into the s box now working of s box uh, this is 48 bit input 48 bit rpt export xord with the 48 bit key now this is 60 uh, 6 bit sub blocks uh, this is total 8 sub blocks now input to the s box and it convert into the 4 bit output so how it convert now see the process working of s box or we can say process of s box 6 bit convert into 4 bit so total 6 bits in one block uh, b1 b2 b3 b4 b5 and b6 so this is the middle bits and this b1 and b6 are the outer bits now 4 bit column number is uh, generated and 2 bit row number is generated now how it works for example so this is s box table now you can see uh, this is the binary digits so if for example the 6 bit is 0 double 1 0 double 1 so middle bits is 1 1 0 1 now see the column 1 1 0 1 
and outer bits check the row 0 1 <coughs> it generates 1 0 0 1 so 6 bit convert into 4 bits this is the working of s box now working of xbox xbox s box is over next is p box or we can say permutation p box permutation output of s box is 32 bit and it is given to the p box so 32 bit is permuted with 16 cross 2 permutation table so it is draw over, uh, drawn over here you can see this is 16 bits 16 cross 2 so this is 32 bit p box table for example 60th bit of the s box take first position as per the below permutation table and it generates the output of the p box permutation this is one example and uh, rest of the bits you can see over here in the p box table <coughs> now we reached at p box next next is x or n swap so 32 bit lpt is xored with 32 bit p box now you can see this is the output of the p box is given to this xor process and now 32 bit lpt is the input of the xor process so uh, this both input it xored with each other and it generates 32 bit rpt and here 32 bit rpt is swapped with 32 bit lpt as per this figure so first round of encryption is completed this is only first round now remaining 15 rounds will be performed same as the first round because we have to perform 16 round of encryptions <coughs> now you can check 16 round of encryption so after completion of this uh, 16 rounds it performs final permutation it performs only once final permutation at the end of the 16 rounds the final permutation is performed only once for example 40th bit of the input take the first position as per the below permutation table so this permutation table is already given by the bs uh, developer and you have to perform as per the given table so this is one example 40th bit of the input take first position now you can see over here this is the 40 uh, bit will be transpose uh, transposition from the 40th from the first bit <coughs> the output of the final permutation is the 64 bit encrypted block so we can say 64 bit ciphertext block now you can see over here the whole